How close are Queen Elizabeth and Prince Harry? One thing we've learned in recent years, usually from celebrities who've met Queen Elizabeth, is that she's been misunderstood for decades. It turns out she has a wicked sense of humor rarely displayed in public due to sticking with the stiff upper lip protocol. At private parties, though, she's known for being very funny, not including her grandson, Harry. Yes, with Harry known for having a similar relaxed and funny vibe in private. You have to assume he and his grandmother get along well in all situations. Do they really, though? Some evidence exists they do. But what's been happening now with Meghan in the picture? During the dark days of Diana, Harry didn't seem close to his grandmother. Only recently have we learned the tragic details of what Harry had to endure mentally after his mother died in Paris 22 years ago. The mental torture he went through in being expected to stay stoic likely came by decree of his grandparents who grew up in a different era when doing therapy seemed like a weakness. In this regard, we know it took time for Harry to remove this frost with the Queen. As we've seen, Harry became comfortable around her as he became a more sophisticated adult. After receiving the mental help he needed, things were seemingly repaired for a time. One of the best examples of Harry and the Queen being close was in a video posted a couple of years ago showing them doing a comedy bit for the Invictus Games. This involved Barack and Michelle Obama talking about mic drops, followed by Harry imitating the same next to the Queen. A lot of people found this charming proof of how well they communicated without any icy stares. Have things changed a little since Harry married Meghan? Reports are the Queen recently rehired a former top aide to look after Harry and Meghan, for whatever purpose. Apparently, she doesn't quite believe the couple will maintain the expected protocol. After all, Harry has called the Queen his grandmother first, then boss. Ladder still rules the roost and it's possibly created some friction with Meghan wanting to do things her own way. With Harry and Meghan's recent move to Frogmore Cottage, there may be further discord when you consider the news of the couple wanting to move to Africa. Is this to distance themselves from the rest of the royals, at least for a while? Seeing some body language between Harry and the Queen now would be interesting, proving two years can sometimes change feelings. Reports are the Queen still lets her guard down around Harry. Let's all assume any frostiness between Harry and his grandmother are still non-existent. If you go by British media reports saying the Queen lets her guard down when around Harry, they may always get along, no matter what happens. The move to Africa by Harry and Meghan may be out of necessity to fulfill royal duties, support their ongoing charities not including escaping the media madness covering the arrival of baby Sussex. As far as we know, it could also have been by decree of the Queen who may feel exasperated lately with Meghan's unending family dramas. Harry might have turned to his grandmother to help solve some of those problems or prevent them from restarting, which brought swift action. Now we'll have to see whether Harry and the Queen still stay close in coming years. Even if he and Meghan stay in Africa for a while, the Queen will likely live another 20 years if you go by royal DNA.